Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, now we are going to talk about aldol condensation. So what is aldol condensation and what is the product that has been formed? And what are the special criteria for this so as to obtain an aldol? So now let us understand this in this topic. So now let me talk about what is aldol condensation. We understand that is whenever an aldehyde and ketone and yes the both should consist of that is alpha hydrogen atom so if that reacts with each other suppose if an aldehyde having an alpha hydrogen atom it reacts with an aldehyde which has basically alpha hydrogen atom and they both are reacting to each other in presence of a base like NOH or KOH or that are basically known as strong base so the product that could be formed is basically known as beta hydroxy aldehyde or it could be called as beta hydroxy ketone obviously it is known as aldol and ketone respectively so this is how basically the reaction proceeds and the product that has been formed is basically known as aldol means it will consist of a functional group that is aldehyde also as well as it will consist of a functional group that is alcohol that is OH also so that's the name aldol it arises so now this kind of reaction it would be easily explained if I give away a general reaction so the general reaction can be given as in this way so let me talk about that so now let me consider an aldehyde which consists of an alpha hydrogen atom so this is what I am going to talk about where it undergoes self condensation that means suppose if I am considering an acetaldehyde so even in the acetaldehyde it will react with acetaldehyde in the presence of a strong base like NaOH and the formation of aldol can occur so let me give an example suppose if we are considering that is an aldehyde which consists of an alpha hydrogen atom so this is the aldehyde group and this is the carbon atom that is been attached to the aldehyde group and that is how we see this carbon it would be considered as alpha carbon atom and all the hydrogens that are present on this alpha carbon are called to be alpha hydrogen atom so whenever this aldehyde it will be treated with the another aldehyde which should also consist of the alpha hydrogen atom so that is how basically I am reacting it with another mole of aldehyde that is CH3 C double bond OH this is a reversible reaction and we should maintain basically a basic condition and that is how basically we are maintaining the basic condition in form of that is NOH or KOH and there should be a moderate temperature that should be given to this uh, reaction and that is how basically we could get a following aldehyde it has been found that we could get a product that is nothing but CH3 C this one will be converted into OH while this one it will be converted as it is while there will be bond formation between this carbon and this carbon so therefore this one would be CH2 this is C double bond O H so we understand that is this is the alpha carbon atom because it is attached to C double bond OH and this is the beta carbon atom so on the beta carbon atom we could find that is the OH group is been present on it so that's the reason that this aldehyde is called to be beta hydroxy aldehyde or basically it is also known as aldol the reason behind that is it consists of the aldehyde group as well as the OH group that's the name aldol came from so this can be also applicable for the formation of ketone the only thing that we have to do is we have to replace this H with R or this H with CH3 and the rest of the thing it will be formed as it is and that kind of compound it will be called as beta hydroxy ketone or it could be also called as ketone so this is the general reaction that I have discussed about here and this is how we can also give the other examples related to the formation of enlol or related to the formation of ketone but now let me go to the mechanism so once we understand the mechanism so it would be very much easy for us to predict the following product whenever the two reactants or whenever two aldehydes or whenever the two ketones they react with each other so as to form an aldol or a ketone respectively so now let me discuss about the mechanism so now i'm going to represent the mechanism of aldol condensation so this mechanism is basically divided into three steps and this is how i'm going to talk about the first step so talking about the first step that is step number one so let me discuss this here suppose if we have considered an aldehyde which consists of an alpha hydrogen atom so this is an aldehyde that we have that is C double bond OH that has been attached to C H H and here it is H 
So this is the carbon that we have and this carbon is basically known as alpha carbon atom and that's the reason that all the hydrogen atoms that are being attached to this alpha carbon atom would be called as alpha hydrogen. So talking about the step number one. So we have also understood that this during alcohol condensation we take a strong base and that is nothing but NOH or that could be QH. So suppose here basically the nucleophile that is the OH minus plays a very vital role. So that is how because explaining this step number one we are considering that is OH minus as the base. And let me talk about the another detail that is this carbonyl group that has been present in the aldehyde. So this has a stronger electron withdrawing inductive effect. So that is how basically it will try to gain the electron pair toward itself and that is how basically we could see that is this alpha hydrogen atoms that are being attached to this alpha carbon atom they can be easily removed with the help of this OH minus and that is how basically one of the hydrogen atom over here it will be removed in the form of that is H2. And this is how the reaction proceeds. But we should form a product also. The product, the main product that we could found in step number one is basically a carboanion. The reason behind that is obviously since OH minus ion, it will take away the H plus ion as a proton. So that's the reason that this alpha carbon atom, it will have the electron pair on itself. And that is how the product that will be formed over here is, I'm representing in this way, that is, this is the carbon atom I have represented over here. This is the hydrogen atom, this is the hydrogen atom, and this is nothing but C double bond O H. Well, there is an electron pair that would be acquiring on this alpha carbon atom and that's the reason I'm representing it as minus on this carbon atom or this alpha carbon atom. So this is the product that we have formed and this is nothing but a carboanion or carbanion. So this is a negatively charged carbon that we have got over here and this is step number one. So what is the name of this step? We can give the name of this step and since we have got to understand that is in step number one, we have obtained a carbanion. So therefore, the step number one is formation of carbanion. So this is the first product that we have got from step number one. And now let's understand the step number two. So the general reaction we have understood that is we take that is two moles of aldehyde. And that aldehyde should consist of alpha carbon atom. Along with that of we could say that is it should also consist of alpha hydrogen atom. So that is the main thing, that is alpha hydrogen atom should be the main thing that it should contain. So now, the product that we have got from the first step, it is nothing but a carbanion, that is nothing but, that is CH2, which has a minus charge on it, and the rest of the thing is, it is an aldehyde group, that is C double bond O H. So this is the first aldehyde which has been converted into a carbanion. So when this carbanion, it will be treated with the second aldehyde, and that could be written as CH3, C double bond O and this is H. So now this is the main thing that we are going to talk about. This carbon obviously it is the carbonyl it is present in the carbonyl group over here so therefore obviously we understand that is the carbon is acquiring a partially positive charge and because of the oxygen oxygen is highly electronegative compared to that of carbon obviously it will acquire a partially negative charge while the carbon will acquire a partially positive charge. So now there will be kind of an addition reaction that could take place over here and this is how basically this CH2 which has basically negative charge on it or basically we could say that is a carbanion this will get attached on this carbon while we could say because of the resonance effect or because of the delocalizing of electron this electron pair that is present here it will be shifted to this oxygen and that is how basically we could get a product and that product is nothing but this will be as it is that is CH3, this will be C carbon, this will be hydrogen atom over here and on this carbon atom basically the CH2 which acquires a negative charge that will attach on this carbon atom. So therefore forming CH2, C double bond O H. While talking about this carbon atom, this carbon atom acquires an oxygen atom which is attached to it. But we have understood that is there is a delocalization of electron and that is how basically the electron pair will shift to the oxygen atom over here. And that is how basically this oxygen will acquire a negative charge. So this is the one that we have got as a product in step number two. So the product that has been formed in step number two is known as alkoxide 
but this is an ion so therefore this is alkoxide ion so this is what we have got and we have got that is alkoxide ion so therefore we could write the step number two as a name and that is nothing but formation of alkoxide ion so this is step number two and now let us move on to the step number three and that is the final step so now let us move on to the step number three so we have got an alkoxide ion and that could be represented as that is ch3 c h that is o minus and this is ch2 this is c double bond o h so we have considered the naoh and that is what we are going to talk about here that is suppose if we have introduced or we have introduced a dilute solution of NaOH obviously that solution will consist of water molecules so that is how basically HOH it will be involved in this reaction and we also understand that is this OH minus it will acquire a partially negative charge while this hydrogen it will acquire partially positive charge so this reaction will turn into such a way that is this hydrogen it will attack this oxygen atom over here and now the product that we get is and every reaction that is in step number one or in step number two that is a reversible reaction so the product that we could get is ch3 c oh here it is h this is ch2 and this is c double bond o h so this is the product that we have got and we have got in step number three so the name of this is basically we could call it as aldol so similarly we can also prepare it for ketol also so this is nothing but alpha this is beta so therefore beta hydroxy aldehyde is what we have got over here so now let us recall that how we have did the step number one two and three so this is the step number one that we have did and this is nothing but formation of carbanion and this is basically a reversible reaction and this is what we have got over here and talking about the step number two so this is the step number two and again this one is a reversible reaction and this is how we get an alkoxide ion and talking about the last step that is this is the last step and this is what we have got an aldol even this is a reversible reaction that we will get over here so this is aldol condensation mechanism so that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i will see you next time so till then don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you so much